Okay, well now I've used a 19 millimeter wrench to unloosen this nut. And I left a little bit, like I said, left it on partially. So the next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to separate this, uh, get this ball joint, lower ball joint loose from the spindle. All right, what you're doing is once you get that nut off, which is that one, uh, you just simply take your pry bar or whatever you need and pry this ball joint out of the spindle and then you can take and pull the whole assembly away from the axle and then you're ready to pry the axle out of the transaxle. Old axle is out. Here's the new axle ready to go in. Now I bought a new axle, I did not buy a remanufactured one. Uh, the new axle was only ten dollars more and I didn't have to have a core to turn in either. A lot of, a lot of times the remanufactured version you'll have to turn a core in. So I mean you still have to take the car apart before you can go get your new part. Now one thing you see under there that's dripping transaxle fluid out. That's the first one of these that I've done that I've ever had trans transaxle fluid uh, leak out of it when I had the car this high up off the ground. Uh, I don't know why it is but uh, I'll have to uh, refill the trans the transaxle because you can't just let that run out and you know not refill it so I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll include video doing that so now it's just going to be a matter of unwrapping this and uh, putting it in the transmission the same way the old one came out Okay, well the new axle's in to the transaxle. It's just a matter of sliding it in and you probably need to get under it like I did and just kind of wiggle it around till it slides all the way in. Uh, you'll know it when it's in and look, you know, just eyeball the old one how far in it is and then uh, do the same with the new one. So from here on out, it's just gonna be a matter of uh, reversing your disassembly process. We'll just slide the uh, splines back into the hub and then we'll pry the arm back down and get the ball joint back into the spindle where it was uh, tighten the nut and if you have any problems getting the, the nut to turn uh, to tighten up if it tries to if the stud in the ball joint ever tries to slip um, what you can do is you can take us another small jack and put up under this and compress it compress the suspension up and that'll put this in a you know this is tapered, so I put it in a bind, and not, then it won't slip. So that's a little trick you can use to that. Now you'll notice right here, I'll show you something I had to do. I had to make a little repair to this um, boot. Uh, when I was taking this, I was trying to use a pickle fork on this. This is what they call this little, well, there it is, this little tool here. Sep it's a ball joint separator, but you know I hate using these things because they. I, Oftentimes, if you're not careful with them, they'll do exactly what you see, and that is, they poked a little hole in that. So you, uh, I had to take some RTV and repair that hole, put it generously over it, because you don't want the grease getting out of it, because then your ball joint's gone, just like the CV joints do. So you got to fix that. If you make a mistake like that and screw that thing up, then you, you got to fix it, because that's a that's a pressed-in ball joint. You really. <laughs> You really don't want to do that, have to repair that if you don't have to. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys got something out of this. Um, the other side is the short side is going to be just the same pr process. Uh, just be careful with it and just kind of keep, you know, study it till you know what you're doing and be sure you, you clean. If you get any grease on your brake uh, disc, be sure to clean that with brake cleaner. So, I have a can of here. And that's about it. Uh, this nut will go back to, um, well, I, I, when I get back to that point, I'll make a, another part of the video and show you about the tightening process. Let's just do that. Okay, the torque rating on this, uh, the tightening torque on this axle nut is uh, between 160 and 190 foot-pounds of torque, so just be sure you get it somewhere in that range. Tighten her up. Done. 
Okay, folks, last step of this, since I uh, had some fluid leak out of the transaxle when I pulled the axles, is I have to refill it. And it takes 75W90 fluid GL4. And on a manual transmission, Hyundai, right here, this is the fill plug. Nowhere else. It's right facing, if you're standing here in front of the car, um, that's it. Right there. I had to do a bit of searching to find this on the internet where it was, but, but that is it. Right there. So the procedure is you have to get the car level. So I've jacked it up to make sure the front end's level. And then you just get you a, a flexible, like a full funnel thing. I think I've got one in there, like a little tube that goes on it. And uh, you just fill this thing up, start putting fluid in it till it starts to run out, and that's it. That's that's full. So anyway, the main thing is just remember if you got to do this, which you likely will, uh, use the right fluid, 75 W90 and be sure the car is level when you check it and when you fill it up and once you get that done we'll take it for a test drive and uh, see how she does okie dokie i'll uh, show you my crude yet hopefully effective tool to fill this transmission up i got a piece of, i think this is uh three eighths fuel line here and just you can see down there, I know the light's getting bad because uh, it took me longer to get things done in town. But, uh, plan. but anyway, it's just run down into the hole there, and I'll use uh, my nozzle to fit in. Hello, where are we? There we are. I'll fit in there, and I'll just squeeze it full of uh, fluid until she runs out. Put the plug back in, lower the car down, and that'll be it. Of course, I'll. Uh, <clears throat> don't mind my barn bonfire in the making there i gotta burn all that shit but uh, i'm gonna park it on a concrete driveway out there tonight and just make sure that the seals aren't leaking around those axles and uh so on so i guess that will just about conclude this job here and if you've got any questions please ask me in the comments and i'll be glad to answer you and i hope this helps you thanks for watching